go out I wanna go to zoo high I wanna walk around Strolling around Go over town Under the zoo high Okay, so we're in a part of uh, Zhuhai called uh, Midtown. So I'm just gonna show off a little bit of what it looks like. And it's basically like a little city block of um, businesses and you can also see all these high rises up here as well. Um, I also had another one that I just uploaded, my last Zhuhai one. But this is kind of an update because I think I know the area a little bit better than I did before. So we're gonna walk around and kind of show you what it looks like and give you an idea of, um, of Zhuhai, uh, Midtown, and these malls and all the kind of apartment buildings around here as well. So stay tuned, it's also busier than it was earlier tonight as well. <laughs> okay, so we got a Juhai one and this is a uh, Midtown Mall. This is such a beautiful, cool little area, especially at night. It's just like, it's one massive large block. It's like about, feels like about, uh, well, you can see in the video cause I'm gonna be playing it all in a minute. But, um, but yeah, it's just like, it's just so cool. That's all I'm gonna say. Let me put it up on a map so you can see exactly where it is as well, cause maybe you wanna go there too. And um, yeah, that's a little slice of Juhai. So now I'm gonna be walking through around with the camera and I'll be um, communicating with the camera so you can listen to that. And that's also pretty interesting too, I would think. All right, Juhai. Uh -huh. Giant ping pong paddle. So let's start at the H&M and then we're gonna kind of go around a little bit. This is, I think this is kind of the center of the whole square and then if you look up a little bit you can see all these apartments everywhere which is also kind of cool so if you live there you could look down on this. But yeah it's pretty pretty cool. It's a really nice little space. I'm kind of getting to know Zhuhai better. I, I live in Macau. 
And a lot of people in Macau don't really come over here, usually because of the visa issues. And also, even when you have a visa, um, you have to stand in a foreigner line to get across, which takes a really long time. Um, 30 to 40 minutes sometimes. Sometimes less. This H&M is so big, it's still going on over here as well. Ah, that's kind of interesting, those little green light kind of things. And then you got all kinds of shops. Cold Love. And I also even saw some like bars and restaurants. Um, I'm still getting to know the, I'm still not oriented exactly where those are. So I don't think I'll find them. They're kind of more on the periphery. But yeah, it is pretty cool though. Got a giant uh, towel right there. Yeah, there's also some nice art displays and shops and restaurants and let me just kind of see here you can see some of the art installations as well you could walk in almost any direction here let me just kind of capture some of the art display so you see there's even restaurants up up on the second story as well and we're gonna come on over here people are walking the dogs too yeah i think if you lived in this area you'd probably come down quite a bit kind of has everything you need it's like a a really nice little self-contained neighborhood there's hay tea as well actually there's a lot of people with their kids i think if you had kids it'd be pretty ideal because everything that you want is like right near right near you already oh i forgot there's a big sign over there that says, um, I love Juhai, Z-H. Um, you can see it already, so I won't go there. Okay, so let's just kind of um, look down these different side streets. Here's a mini so. And let me see, I think... Let me see. I think some there's like a, some entrance right here and I think there might be a couple bars that are nearby in this area as well. So we're gonna um ham. So this is a lot of people coming in here. Oh that's a little mini so Hey, let's see what else we got. There's no shortage of interesting stuff. Like even in here, right? I'm kind of looking for where that... I'm gonna go out a little bit because I think this was the entrance that I started at where I saw a little bar and I think it might be the one right here on the corner. So I was surprised to see those kind of things here in this area. Uh, no, this is not it. But we're going to just go out real shortly. And so basically you can see these apartments and everything like that. And then you can also see a map of the whole neighborhood. So basically if you look, take a look at it, you can see something called like Chill Street. But then there's all this, um, it's like one, two, three, four, like four by five. So about 20 blocks, if you kind of think of it like a block, like that would might be a block right there. So maybe there'd be like 20 blocks like this with all this kind of walking space everywhere. So that's what makes this pretty interesting. Too high to create. Too high to create. So, okay. So we're going to walk back into it and try to show you more that we can. Too high. So we kind of went through the middle part over there. There's actually a Pullman Hotel way up in the sky. You can see that. Um, so if somebody wanted to stay near here and stay in a hotel, that might be a spot to stay at. And then you could walk around here and um, kind of enjoy the evening when it cools off. 
for you here in the summer like it is right now. So down here you got, um, I see a KFC. But there's also more this direction too. Huh. If you look right up there, there's like a little play area up there. So it looks like something for kids for, for, um, for that KFC. Okay. Yeah, it's okay, coffee. The color is coming soon. Ray-Ban. Yeah, and they also have a lot of sculptures in here too, so you can see another. Oh, there's a bakery as well. And here's a sculpture. Yeah, and actually the way that it's kind of structured, so we looked at it and it was like four by five, or maybe depending on how you look at the city blocks, it could be like five by five. There's a bunch of um, tea shops here. Okay. More sculptures. Let's see here. And there's a Pizza Hut way down there. I think this is a movie theater right here. Uniworld Cinema. Okay. So let's walk around a little bit more. Some streets are busier than others, so this one, um, I guess, is not quite as busy, but there's people way down there, so we're, we're slowly showing you what it all looks like. Okay, so there's a Pizza Hut straight ahead, and there's also some places to sit outside over here, M stand. And we're gonna go right into the heart again, because I want to have as many people as I can get in the videos, but that would slowly go out, so you can see the, um, actually this is kind of one of the corners. So I think we're gonna be going down that way in a second. So stay tuned for that because we will go right into the middle of it. But these are the corners. So this corner right here goes out to a main street, but then you can see there's other stores across the street and all the way around too. And you can also see all these apartments everywhere, right? So there's tons and tons of people would live in these apartments. And then this would be their, their little neighborhood. There's a Pizza Hut right there as well. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to walk um, back into the exciting part and they'll be walk right into the high density area just so you can get a good idea. Pop tart. Okay, so this, so I guess actually the H&M I think is um, kind of the centerpiece. Yeah, and all these tall buildings. I think that's the Pullman Hotel, that big apartment straight ahead with the, all the lights on. So this is kind of that centerpiece one. I'm gonna go down this way because there's a bunch of people outside here. So we got a um, amazing Mota. Nice restaurant. So this one has um, oh, there's actually a place to eat up there too. Eyeglass shop. Okay, so we're gonna um, meander about a little bit more. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to show you the other side just so you can get an idea. I think I'm all going down different spaces each time. Don't think you've seen this elephant yet. So. 
pad air. Okay. Oh yeah, Chill Street is over this way. So okay, so I think that center part is like right in there. So we're gonna probably go back that way in a minute. But we're gonna come over to the other side. So you can get an idea of what that looks like as well. And I, this is my second video that I've done of the Midtown, but I, I know a little bit more, so um, so I can navigate it a little bit better. The first video was my first time to ever see this area. So now you can see more restaurants. There's a Starbucks down there as well, and then there's even stuff across the street too. And a little place you can sit up there. This is called Chill Street. And I saw some pigeons, I think it was over here. So we we're gonna walk towards these little pigeon spot. I don't know what it'll look like at nighttime though. But we'll take a look. Pretty dark. My apologies for that. Oh yeah. So now we're coming up on all these pigeons right here. You can kind of see them at night time. They're everywhere. I'm gonna get out of here because there's too many. It's funny. I used to live in Korea and Korea Korean people are scared to death of pigeons. So it's kind of funny to see no fear. I think in Korea I usually used to hear them say that they were like they're like rats with wings. <laughs> they're like dead, they're deadly terrified of them. Okay. So we're gonna walk right back into the middle part here. Okay, let's see. So yeah, basically, I think it's like a giant city block with a bunch of kind of shopping mall plus apartments all around it. It's really quite innovative, to be honest. I haven't really seen anything quite like this. I mean, maybe China, there's like some kind of variations of it that I've seen sometimes, but... Let me see, it could go down that way as well, but I think I'm gonna just go through this part. Okay. I think we got some desserts here. Let me just kind of see here. Okay. Hello. So we got a little bit of desserts. Okay, let me see what else we got. So I'm going to head back to the middle part which I think is going to be either straight or to the left. To the left. There's H&M again. So we are going to go directly around H&M and then that'll be the centerpiece. And I think we started in the center I believe. And so we started right where this um, big ping pong paddle was at. So we're gonna end there as well. Pretty 
pretty cool. There's H&M right there. Yeah, that's Let's just do a little 360 here. H&M. The paddle. Urban Revival. This kind of centerpiece. And that kind of centerpiece. And on that note, we'll end the video. Slice it too high for you. <laughs>